the 70s were about that attempt that we made to carve out a place for ourselves in society. Party scene was wild. Boys go to bed with boys and girls go to bed with girls. 1981 was when things really began to change. Nearly 3,000 cases of AIDS have already hit this city. Half those people have died. The AIDS epidemic was raging. They wanted to isolate us and quarantine us on an island. Could this be a uh, disease spread through the air? We were expected to wear what we called spacesuits, and some would refuse to give care. It made me angry. We have to do something. At San Francisco General Hospital, the staff is gearing up for the opening of a special wing to treat AIDS victims. It was built by the nurses there. We were gay, we were straight, we were young, we were old. And of course, that was a time when nobody even knew how it was uh, spread. The danger was very real. AIDS is 100% fatal. We ought to be focusing on what we do to prevent all of us from getting the disease and dying. You have to get out of the mode that you're here for curing people and really get into the mode that you're here to care for people. People were like, well, you're probably going to get AIDS and you're probably going to die. I might have some anxiety about this, but I'm more pissed off and angry than I am scared. They made the rules as they went along. We decided that if we can't save these folks, we're gonna touch them. This was a tangible thing you could do wash them, put moisturizer on them. You were allowed to love your patients. So much in life is not what you say or what you do, it's how you make people feel. It's broad change for how hospitals work. People came to our unit from worldwide to find out what we were doing, how or why. We weren't afraid. You don't have to have a hazmat suit every time you're around an AIDS person. You don't have to burn their bed because they died. The nurses were the real heroes. They stood up when nobody else would, and they were willing to take those risks. 